Ladies and gentlemen, Nancy Armstrong. Good evening. Oh, you know, I vividly remember that day back in March of 2011 interviewing Maria. It was our first shoot at AOL and actually my very first interview for Makers. And I was just grateful for Maria's openness that day, taking me back to that indelible moment in time 45 years ago when the extraordinary talent of one 11-year-old girl standing in her uniform on the pitcher's mound, striking out one boy after another, turned the entire city of Hoboken, New Jersey upside down. The pain of that moment, the backlash from her community, and the stunning disillusionment that this was in fact what it was like to be a young girl in America in 1972. Now there were about four or five of us in the room that day for the shoot with Maria, and let's just say there were some tears. And I'm not talking about cute, sniffly type tears, okay? We're talking catharsis, full-blown, straight-up, ugly crying at AOL. I, I think I speak for everyone on Team Makers when I say it has been a privilege to illuminate the story of one of the sports world's most cherished, if not largely unsung heroes. A woman whose love of the game and courage to stand up and be bold literally paved the way for millions of girls to play team sports. It is my great privilege to introduce to you a beloved member of the Makers family, Maria Pepe. so much. Good evening and thank you so much. Um, I am proud to be a maker and I tremendously respect and admire the accomplishments and determination of every maker story. And I want to say that I applaud AOL, Tim and Nancy Armstrong, Dylan McGee, Gloria Steinem, and the entire team who have brought us together because together we are a vital unifying force for equal opportunity for women. It never really mattered to me how many people knew about my story as much as it did how many girls were playing. And I really have been blessed because I get to drive around in the summer and pass ball fields and I have seen, there literally have been more than five million girls that have played. After the ruling, Little League started softball. They were still trying to navigate the girls to play with the girls. Uh, but if the girl wants to play baseball, they have to allow her that right. And so yes, I did bawl my eyes out during the interview. Um, because it really brings me back to when I was a child. And I'm really an advocate today for any issues dealing with discrimination for young girls. It has been a comfort for me to know that many women have experienced the same discrimination. And our voices will be able to provide guidance and hope to women to be confident in their passions and enjoy their freedoms and find what makes them happy. I never did get to play for the Yankees, but I really would have loved to do that. <laughs> the Makers has helped me to comfort the little girl inside of me who never wants to see a child left out of the game. That's what the Makers means to me. And I left my mom home to come here from Jersey. She's 92, I take care of her. And I told Nancy that I wanted to be here because it's important to me that we continue the progress because of my personal experience, it really wasn't fun. Uh, and may I leave you with my favorite quote from Babe Ruth, 
You just can't beat the person that'll never give up. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. I mean, what better story than Maria's to help celebrate our fifth birthday, right? And the launch of our new podcast featuring our very talented senior producer, Amanda McCall. Amanda, where are you? There you are. No, bigger way. <laughs> The new podcast series brings to you an extended version of the Maker Stories in a new format. Uh, the episode that you heard a segment of this evening is on iTunes, and you can subscribe to Maker's Podcast and hear new stories every week. Okay, a little bit of housekeeping. On your table, there are menus, and at the bottom of your menu, there's a little place for you to write in uh, the name of someone whose shoulders you stand on. So please write that in, and I think there's a little place to put it in the center of the table. Someone other than your mother or a family member, please. And we will announce those results in the morning. And now we ask that you enjoy your dinner, but get ready. We have a very special performance later this evening, directed and curated by one of our own makers, the lovable and indomitable Kathy Najimy. Kathy will be joined by some of her extraordinarily talented friends whom you will recognize. Uh, and they'll be sharing some real life stories about what it really means to be a woman. So please enjoy and we'll be back in a bit. Thanks. Thanks.